Six minutes left in regulation. It was a two-point game at halftime. Visaya still trying to find that range. A little short on the three, and the Musketeers down four can cut into that lead once again. Well, this is exactly the point in the game where they turned it on against Missouri yesterday. We talked about how they've got enough experience back that they know how to win big games, but Virginia Tech has enough experience as well with their success in the ACC a year ago. Yesterday it was the freshman point guard Terrell Holloway who hit all the big shots from the line for the Musketeers. He's not on the floor right now. Dante Jackson with five to shoot. Puts up a long three, and that was not what Coach Miller was looking for. Yeah, going to his left and contested. In transition, nice job to find Delaney spotting up for three. Well, how about Malcolm Delaney the second half? He only had three points in the first half, but he's gotten going a little bit. Vasile a little bit. Win over the Missouri. Virginia Tech, what is it? Excuse me, Fairfield. Not been easy for Xavier to score. Everything is contested on the perimeter, and they are packing the lane on drives. Lazy pass nearly got stolen. Allen's pass is stolen. All the way back into the ball game. Down seven, the Musketeers looking for a good shot. See, I think right now the go-to guy for Xavier is probably going to be C.J. Anderson unless you leave this guy open, Derek Brown. That's 13 points for the junior out of Dayton, Ohio. Under four minutes remaining in regulation, the winner of this semifinal reaches the championship game on Sunday. Good pressure. Illegal screen by Allen. Uh, something that they want to clean up. We talked about the moving screens. And explain, explain, friend, what you mean by the chicken wing screen. It's when you are set, but you dip your shoulder. See so much of the movement. I don't think either coach has much to complain. Big plays down the stretch into double figures. These guys are much better officials than I thought when I was coaching. <laughs> Once again, the fans behind us from Xavier University on their feet making noise. Their team is within two for the first time in a long time. Now, what I would do if I were Seth Greenberg is I would go inside because if the officials think they may have missed it, you want to put the onus on the defense by attacking them in the lane and see if you can get yourself a foul. It's almost like they owe you one. Foul on the spin. They may have made a bad call against my team. We were going to try to put the onus on them by attacking the defense and, and trying to come up with a chance to shoot some free throws. Under three minutes now. Called human nature. Yeah, it just seems natural. There it is. Uh, they had the big guy. And Jaquite didn't have the angle and smartly pulled it back around. Yep. Delaney doesn't use the screen. Instead, goes into traffic and is called for the charge. Chance of let's go X. Freeze, flashing to the ball. Up bait, fouled by Jaquite. Davila back into the ball game. Uh, part of that has been uh, the, the defensive pressure by Xavier. Both teams have guarded each other well. You can see the same thing yesterday. Xavier's players exhorting the fans. You got some guys on the floor. In fact, right now, all five of them that have played in the Elite Eight a year ago. And we're tied for the first time since 25-25. Foul on Raymond in the sixth against the Musketeers. The next will put them over the limit. Masayo left his feet. Delaney, open look. A little short. Ball comes back to Delaney. Masayo with a force three. And now the Musketeers have a chance to take the lead. What a great job by Dante Jackson of getting out on Vasayo and contesting. Almost fouled him, but it was great defense. Boy, this is a battle. 
Set it from the top. Both teams outstanding defensively. Catch and shoot Jackson. Out of bounds. Holloway, who was so clutch yesterday with the dribble, guarded by Delaney. Well, I'd love C.J. Anderson right here. For the lead, can't do it. Freeze, couldn't get the rebound, and so the Hokies with the ball. And a chance to retake the lead. Timeout, Virginia Tech. See now, they have the luxury of recruiting the same geographical area as the rest of the league. They've made the Castle Coliseum one of the tougher spots in the ACC. Trying to pick up a neutral side win here this afternoon in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Look at Raymond. That's a great matchup on Vasayo. The Hokies have been scoreless for over four minutes now. Under a minute left in regulation. Shot Three clock. to shoot. Delaney fouled by Jackson with one on the shot clock. Defense and you bail out Delaney. Delaney hit the clutch. And it trickles off the front iron. Two huge misses open the door for Xavier. Just like yesterday when Missouri had a chance to close it. Let's see if the Musketeers can capitalize as they did yesterday against the Tigers. Little motion offense, fake offense right now. Timeout called where the other. And he does into the backcourt with no pressure. See they'll go two bigs at the elbows. Screen. Watch for freeze rolling. Under 10 seconds to shoot. Brown from the baseline. Blocked partially and now 13 seconds to go. Virginia Tech. Well, Seth Greenberg usually takes timeouts here. But he's not going to do it. He's going to let him play. Delaney with the ball in his hands with three seconds to go. Offensive foul. Freeze stood his ground and Delaney picks up the personal with two seconds on the clock. Out. Vasayo breaks up the pass and heaves it. But we will head to overtime tied at 52. So we are set for overtime. Five minutes put on the clock. Brown and Allen to jump center. The Musketeers in their home whites. And the maroon clad Hokies from Blacksburg, Virginia. The winner of this, the survivor I should say, makes it to the championship round on Sunday. And luckily both teams have the day off tomorrow. They start with the freshman freeze in the post. Out there with Holloway, Raymond, Brown, and Anderson. And it's Brown who loses the ball, but the Hokies were unable to save. Loose ball out of bounds. Your assistants have made sure to let the players know that the shot clock was not reset. Watch out! That is a moot point because Brown goes right to the rim. Well, you talk about flushing it. You saw a little bit of the athleticism of Derek Brown, who's still probably not 100%, but just a glimpse. Into traffic. Looked like he swung at him. He did, but Allen was certainly the initiator of the contest. And not bail him out. Allen with a couple of big free throws. Now has 20 points, tied again at 54. Now you get the freshman out because he's played a lot. You give him a blow because you know you got J Justin Love, who's very reliable. This is B.J. Raymond, and he traveled. Yep, and that's good ball pressure. That electric quickness he has. Now last year he broke the school record held by Bimbo Coles for assists in a season by a freshman with 113. Anytime your name is at or above the level of Bimbo Coles, you're doing all right. Foul off the ball in the paint. Virginia near the end of regulation. Back to the line. This time he connects. Game. Couple of switches. Right back in. It was interesting. First play of overtime. Derek Brown tried to go into him and he couldn't do it. You could see the frustration. But it showed the confidence they have in the big guy. Here comes the double team. Freeze goes away from it, but a nice job defending him. Jump ball and the possession arrows going the other way. Freeze out. Jamel McLean back in. You know, it's crazy, Doug. This has been a really well played game. 
The only problem is baskets haven't come easy. No. Messiah took his eye off the pass and then commits the foul. Without looking it into his hands. Dante Jackson now seven for ten. Tied again. Zick. Coming up next here on ESPNU, Big 12 this week, presented by Dr. Pepper. Woo! Complete look and in-depth analysis of all the happenings in the Big 12 Conference. Right, one of the things that's happening is Saturday night in Norman, Oklahoma, when the undefeated Texas Tech Red Raiders come calling. Delaney from the foul line, short. McLean has it ripped away by Delaney, and a quick whistle to call the jump ball. Doesn't go his way. Well, that was a big possession. The only thing we're worried about right now is where we're eating later. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Allen Gotta be reaching careful. in. At the line, Derek Brown. He'll go to school on that. All scores. Much better job of standing up by Brown. He's got 16. Muskie's back up one. And Brown and Delaney each have four fouls, so they have to be a little careful down the stretch of this ball game. Masayo flashes. Raymond stays with it. Masayo working hard for his own shot. Gets it and buries it. That was an example of great defense by Raymond and great offense by, by Masayo because he came to a jump stop, pivoted, and had a clean look at the basket. You credit both players on that. It's this management, and you can see both coaches have that kind of experience. C.J. Anderson, the trigger man, Holloway out there with Brown, Freeze, and Raymond. A minute 50 remaining in overtime. Xavier down a point. Post up. Brown now isolated. Five seconds on the shot clock. Picks up his dribble. Raymond's going to have to struggle. He gets it off, but it's an air ball and a shot clock violation. Now, the unfortunate thing for Sean Miller is Derek Brown had the open three-point look twice, thought about it, decided to pass it up, and then when he drove, he drove to the baseline. He allowed the baseline to be a second defender. He really didn't have the quickness to beat his man, and they ended up with an empty possession. Jackson back in. Watch for Sayo here. Once again, that matchup with Raymond. Guarding Visaya. They're not going to throw it into the post if they don't create a better angle. One minute to go in overtime. Visaya, nice crossover. Floater in the lane and an offensive foul. The freshman comes back for offense. Jason Love, what a defensive effort. That's the guy I like right there. Anderson. Yes, sir. Able to gather and put it home. Yes, sir. That guy can get you a basket. He, get, he can get you a look at the basket. Back on top, the Musketeers. Air ball. Put back. They'll have to go to the line to earn it. Two. Three out of three. Tied once again. Fifth. Virginia Tech back on top. This could be a breakout game for Dorenzo Hudson today. Shot clock is off. The Musketeers down a point. A bucket could win it. High pick and roll. Holloway, quick off the dribble into the paint. Drop it off. And Freeze will go to the line. One to tie, two for the lead. Stop or pop. Tied at go. 60. Visayo has fouled out. Thorns calls time. Ash Thorns. Hudson triggers into Thorns. Three guards on the floor for the Hokies. The shot, little short. The putback with two seconds to go is good for the lead. The Musketeers back the other way for the win. He got, got it. it. He got it. He's got it. He got it. Oh. The Musketeers go on to the championship game on Sunday. Well, they're going to review it, but it sure looked good. It's never over till it's over. How about the presence of mind of knowing you have no timeouts left, getting it in bounds, and you know what? 
Jackson at 1.9, he would have had two dribbles. He was he had the presence of mind to know that he needed at least one dribble. There's another look. Yep. And no question, he released it before triple zeros. The officials still have yet to give the okay. I think they want to make sure every angle. The Musketeers with a big win onto the championship game Sunday.